Hey there, Patricia. This is Matt Wilkerson from Kingdom School and Ministry in Georgia in the United States. And uh, we're here, I'm here with some of my friends today, and we're here to pray for you from here in, here in, uh, in Georgia all the way to you in India. So we're so glad that you wrote in and asked us to pray for you. That's what we're here to do today. Um, this is a 360 degree prayer experience. So if you're on your phone, you can use your phone to pan around and see each one of us as we pray for you. Or if you're on a computer, you can click and drag uh, and you can find us as we pray for you. So I'm gonna read real quick what you wrote in to us and then we're just gonna pray for you. This is the request that Patricia wrote in. Patricia from India. Praise God, we have been so happy and blessed together since we married, but since December 9th, I've had a boil on my right nose flap, which was cauterized and now infected to an extent that no surgeon is willing to touch it. They suggested that I go to a plastic surgeon to get it removed since it's a lesion that is bigger than a marble. So I have done MRI and CT scans and talked to a plastic surgeon now. The doctor wants to send a small part of the lesion for biopsy to see if it is harmful because every time it was removed, it has just come back bigger and grown more in size. The plastic surgeon will be removing some forehead skin to give me a new flap for my right nose. Please pray for me. I don't know what's going on in my life. My husband is quite supportive and has been standing by me in every situation. I really want to get healed and my face to look normal and not be distorted after surgery. The doctor will be conducting surgery to remove the whole chunk after receiving the biopsy report. Please pray for me and let me know if I did, if I need to do something more, if I have gone wrong or fallen anywhere in my walk with God. Thank you. So Patricia, we just joined together right now yes. from across the world, and we just ask the Lord Jesus to invade your life right now. Mm -hmm. Father, your hand is on Patricia. God, you love her, and you want the best for her. So right now, Father, we just pray that, that Lord, you would do a miracle in her life, God, that you would do this thing that her heart desires, Lord, this complete healing in her, on her nose, God. And Father, I uh, pray that there would be no cancer, no, um, nothing malignant, there'd be nothing there that could harm her, God, and that this would be completely Amen. taken care of. And Patricia, I just wanna say too, uh, just as Jesus said in, in the Bible, uh, sometimes things like this happen, and it's not because of someone's sin, but it's so God gets the glory. So we are believing with you right now that through this thing that happens, God is going to get the glory as people see a complete miracle in your life. Father, I just thank you for Patricia, Lord. I just uh, pray as she's questioned what's going on in her life, God, I pray you solidify her thoughts to be your thoughts, God. And so, Father, bring her mind into alignment for healing and, and for recovery, Father, that her future is bright, her future is good. Thank you for a husband that is desirous to be there, supportive of her. We pray for this family to be brought together Amen. closer as one in Jesus' Amen. name. Lord, that they'd be stronger than ever through this trial and this tribulation, God, and you would bring them into a place where they can really sense your perfect love over their life, your healing power over their life. In Jesus' name, thank you. Yes. Father, your word says in Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good mm -hmm. to those that love God and are called according to his purpose. And yes. Father, I thank you that Patricia has reached out to us yes. and, and asked for agreement in prayers for healing and wholeness. And Father, yes. I, I thank you that you're going to use this set of circumstances uh, that has caused her to even examine her own heart yes, and draw her closer, Lord, that you would work this together for good, Amen. for your glory and Amen. your honor. And Lord, we, we pray that no weapon that's been formed against her will prosper. Yes, that's right. And we, yes. we thank you, Lord, that she yes. uh, will be whole when she comes out of this whole yes. situation, that uh, the inner beauty that's there will show itself outwardly, that the glory of the Amen. Lord would uh, yeah. radiate from her inner man to her outer man. Yes. And Lord, Amen. people will will even pause and wonder what you have done in her life. That's we right. thank you for Patricia. We thank you for Amen. her testimony. We thank you ahead of time for healing her Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Amen. Mm -hmm.
Well, Joshua, we appreciate you reaching out to us and giving us the opportunity to engage heaven with you and for your need. Uh, <clears throat> in the scripture, they all, the, the Lord uh, demonstrated in, in power and in might and everything that our lives are to be directed and guided by a higher realm that has greater talent and greater ability than we have. And he told us to seek first that realm, the kingdom of God, and to call heaven to earth. And he actually said, I give you the keys to that kingdom realm. And you can engage whatever you declare on earth is committed in heaven and whatever in heaven is committed on the earth. That is exactly what we're doing here. Yes. We're calling heaven to the earth yes. and we're saying, Lord, you didn't tell us to pray for healing. You told us to deliver the kingdom and healing was in there. You told us to reach out in your glory that's all around us and pull your kingdom in in exactly every area that we need. Okay. And we declare the kingdom of God to be manifested in your life right now. And this thing that you're having to deal with on your nose, we declare that it has to die. We speak to it right now and say, you die at the very root and you fall. And we declare there will be no scar and there will be nothing that you have to carry as a sign. The only sign you will have is the total and complete healing of the yeah. Word of God and the Kingdom of God manifested in your life. Mm -hmm. We are excited because God is delivering the Kingdom to you right now. We're birthing that Kingdom in your life and you're going to be excited because you're going to see the glory and the manifestation of the living God. Mm -hmm. The living God coming into your life and doing exactly what He said. We go to that higher realm than this physical plane we can see that is measured by time and we call heaven to earth. That's what he said. He said, your will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. And sickness and disease is not a plan, part of the plan of God. He has called us to be healed and to be whole. So I speak it again to you in Jesus name, yes. receive the healing that is in the kingdom and be totally and completely whole and your life, whatever is there that causes you to question and to want to be any doubt, I rebuke it in Jesus name and declare faith upon faith, glory upon glory. Yes. Immerse yourself in the word of God. Go to our website and get some of our materials and realize that God is good and he, his plans for you are for good for a hope and for a future yes. and not for disaster. Amen. So glory be to our God, the living God. Yes. You are whole, Patricia, in Jesus' name. That's right. Amen. 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 Patricia, thanks again for sending this in. We, we pray blessings on you right now. Amen.